Test-Driven Development is a methodology in software development that focuses on an iterative development cycle where writing tests is made before actual implementation of the feature. TDD usually follows the red-green refactor sequel, add a test to the test suite, red, run all the tests to ensure the new test fails, green, write just enough code to get that single test to pass, run all tests, refactor and improve the initial code while keeping the test green. Let's go to coding. Firstly, we should set up the Next.js 13 app, then install the Jest testing library and needed dependencies. Next, create jest.config.js, file with fundamental settings. When it is ready, add a script for testing in package.json. According to the fundamentals of test-driven development, we should first create a test script for the new feature and then code the component. Our feature will be about displaying button increment, which on click will increment the count value by one. Result should be displayed in HTML element as a text, like count result. In the project directory, create a test folder with double underscores, then in this folder add a new file, index.test.tsx. This file will be the first created test for checking our home component. Then test if it renders the home component and finds an element with data tested count and checks if its text content is count zero. Second test renders the home component again, finds a button with the text increment and simulates a click event on it, refines the count element and checks if its text content is now count. One, pretty simple? Yes, let's run the test and expect to fail. Now we should jump into coding the home component. In the Next.js app directory, let's create page.tsx file and add the home component. We will use hooks, so we should mark at the top that it is a client component by use client. JSX coda will be pretty simple. We will add a div container and inside we should coda a button and paragraph. To manage the count state, we should add a use state hook with the count variable set by default to zero. Then we add an increment function to the button. Moreover, the button should have text increment to be properly caught by the text script. Paragraph text, according to the written test, should have the test I'd set to count so that it is possible to test the count value. In the final step, we add text count and count value. We are ready for tests. Let's run tests by the command yarn test and we expect them to pass tests. All right, the first test is completed. It is only an introduction to test-driven development. If you want more, you should definitely subscribe to my newsletter where I jump into the topic with more details. New content every Wednesday.